Yo, huge warning, avoid the shooting posture at all costs. Now the game and shooting instruction has changed, but the problem is a lot of coaches are still coaching like it's 1960 or 1970, and it doesn't work. I can't tell you how many times I see basketball clinics being put on, I see drills on social media that coaches are doing, and they're still ingraining these old techniques that just don't work. So there's one specific basketball posture when it comes to shooting that I see all the time and that really limits the results of the shooters that are doing it. And I call it the set it on the shelf. And it's basically this, we've all done it before. We all gone to a basketball camp, they line us all up in a row and they're like, oh, we need to get our shoulder width apart. We need to set our butt down really deep and we gotta set the ball right here by our shoulders. How many of you think that this is perfect basketball shooting posture? You've been watching my channel, not very many. But the whole key is, this is a posture that doesn't help maximize upward momentum and power. And power is the biggest struggle when it comes to shooting. Because if you don't get enough power in your shot, that's where things start to come off. That's where your elbow starts to come out, or you start bringing the ball across your body, or start pushing it like this. So power is the secret key to shooting. And this, or in this posture specifically, where we set it on the shelf up high here, is what absolutely kills your power. So instead, what I want you to think about is instead of sitting straight up, ball up, I want your chest down, ball down. So normally, coach is gonna say chest up, ball up. I want chest down, ball down. And here's the reason why. If I load the ball lower, somewhere down here by my hip, and I load my chest forward, what does this do? This engages my hips, which are the absolute power factory of pretty much any athletic movement, right? If I'm throwing a punch, the power comes from the hips. If I swing a baseball back, the power comes from the hips. Pretty much every athletic movement, the power comes from the hips. So if I'm straight up and down, these hips don't get loaded. They don't actually kind of provide more power. Whereas now if I load my chest towards the ground like this, it actually loads my hips, loads my knees, loads my ankles, and those three joints can all work together to simultaneously explode the power up through the body. So think about this, it's very simple. All you gotta do is load the ball down, load your chest down, and then I'm just gonna still keep my eyes on the rim while everything goes down. So ball down, eyes up. That's where we're going, ball down, eyes up. If I can get to this position right here, holy cow, there's so much power that gets into it and it's gonna immediately not only turbocharge your shooting percentage, but also turbocharge your rain and your shooting power to go along with it. All right, so there's one more thing on this posture that you want to avoid. And so a lot of times coaches, right, they set the ball on the shelf, chest up, sit your butt down, and then they have players square their feet to the basket. This adds even more tension in your upper body and limits even more power. So think about it. If you've got a coach that says, I want you to sit your butt down, I want you to have your legs squared, I want the ball high and I want your chest high. We basically have like three different factors that are limiting our power, right? Let's say you're a fourth grader, let's say you're a fifth grader, you're not fully grown, you're not fully developed. How are you gonna get the power to shoot? It's gotta come from somewhere, right? And so that's when you're gonna shove it from your chest. That's when you're gonna push it with your thumb. That's when you're gonna bring it on the upside of your body. That's when your elbow's gonna come out. So a lot of times coaches think that they have the perfect position because it's what they learned when it's not actually accurate. And so then they have all these problems that they're trying to fix and they try to fix it with straps and they try to fix it with paddles and they try to fix it with drills and they like, hey, you can't shoot threes. You gotta scoot in because you can't do it. When really it's the beginning foundation that doesn't allow it to happen in the first place, right? So instead of having your feet squared, think about tilting them slightly off to the side. So if I'm a right-handed shooter, my feet are gonna tilt to the left. That's gonna alleviate my upper body tension. It's gonna allow my elbow to come underneath the ball nice and smooth. And so if I get my chest down, ball down, and now I get my feet turned, holy cow, that's a power factory that's ready to shoot from half court if we want to. And don't forget, if you want to shoot like a pro, you got to train like a pro. So go ahead and hit the link in the description down below and get free instant access to the Pro Class Pro Shooting Pack. This is a shooting workout that's put together by some of the best athletes on the planet, guys like Damian Lillard, Chris Paul, CJ McCollum, just to name a few. And it's going to help turbocharge your jumper immediately. So go ahead and pick that up because it's 100% free. All right, you know what to do. If this video helped you out, hit the like button. If you're new to shot mechanics, hit that subscribe button, ding the bell notification. We put out videos every single week and they're all going to get you better. I guarantee it. All right, again, I'm Coach Colin Castello from Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, splash on. Buckets. Hey-oh!